In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an overhang on a roof, and we're going to show you two different. First one is going to be just a basic ranch, and then after that one, I'm going to show you on an L-shaped house. So the first one, okay, we're going to have our overhang come out to the right. So that's where we want it to overhang, on the right side, which is where our gable is. We're going to go from the top of the roof and draw a line to the right, as far as you want your roof to hang over. And from that line, I'm going to draw a vertical line down. And then normally you would go to your third vanishing point. We're just going to go parallel, just because it gives it a better look. So we're going to go parallel to this slope of the roof. I'm going to go to the top of that vertical line and then from the bottom of that vertical line. On the right side, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go parallel. I'm going to go from the bottom of that vertical line and the top. However far down you want it to hang over in the front of your house here, we're just going to extend this edge of the roof down and going to the left vanishing point. Wherever that line hits this top line of your new roof line, we're going to draw a vertical line down to the bottom line. And where that bottom line, bottom of that vertical line and this angled line come together, I'm going to take that back to the left vanishing point. And this becomes like the white trim on your roof called the fascia. And then we're going to continue however far we want it to hang over on the end. I'm just going to slide that out and draw a vertical line. So everything gets extended out a bit. To finish off this right side, if we go from the bottom of this vertical line to the right vanishing point where it intersects the bottom of this trim here, that's where we're going to line it up and draw a vertical line up. So that's the end of our roof on the right side. But now we have to finish it going behind the house. So we're going to go from the bottom of that vertical line to the left. All right, so if I were to shade this, all of this would be really dark underneath. The front, front remains white, and then I erase my roof underneath that I no longer see. All right, so there's a roof on a basic ranch with an overhang. Right. Now we're going to do an L-shaped house, and you'll see there's an overhang on this right side and an overhang on the left side. So to do that, we have an L-shaped drawing here, and I'm going to do the same exact thing I did before. I'm going to do the right side here, so I'm going to extend the top line of my roof going from the left vanishing point, draw a line to the right, however much of an overhang I want, I'm just going to guess, and I'm going to draw a vertical line down. And that vertical line is the very center of your roof overhang, so the center of what would be the gable area there. So now I'm going to line up the left side of the slope of my roof and go parallel, line up the top of that vertical line and then the bottom. I'm going to do the same thing on the right side, go parallel to the angle of my roof both the top and the bottom of that vertical line. And then I'm going to repeat, go from the top of this angled line, however far down I want it to stick out from my house. And then I'll draw a vertical line down where that vertical line hits that line. That's where I'm going to go back to the left. And you'll notice this is going to look really wide. 
That's because of just the angle that that is and how far down that vertical line was. I'm going to continue it. So I'm going from the bottom of this vertical line to my right vanishing point where it hits this bottom line. That's where I'm going to draw a vertical line up connecting the bottom and the top line. And then I'm going to go back to the left vanishing point till I hit the side of my house. So that's all the underneath that you see of the roof from the overhang. To finish this side of it, okay, I've already got my two lines here for my fascia. I'm going to take this corner of my roof and continue it down until I hit the top line here. Where I hit the top line, okay, that's where I'm going to draw a vertical line down and that's where my roof is going to change direction. So now I'm going to go from the top of it to my right vanishing point and draw it to the left. The bottom of it to my right vanishing point. Draw a line to the left. And then I'm going to go to the top of my roof and I'm going to extend this line out. Okay. Now, how far out we want it to extend, we can just determine ourselves for how far, but the size of this vertical line is already going to be determined by this area right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow the slope of this roof. So I'm parallel and I'm going to go to the top of that vertical line until it hits this top line right here. Where it hits that top line, I'm going to connect the top to the bottom with a vertical line. And then I'm going to continue my parallel line. So I'm going to line this up again. Okay. And I'm going to slide it down to the bottom of this vertical line. And I'm going to draw a line up till I hit this center vertical line that I created. And that's going to be the size of this fascia. So then I'm just going to go to the other side, and go parallel to the bottom of that line and to the top of that vertical line. And then I'll continue it on the left side. I'm going to follow the bottom of this vertical line to the left vanishing point where it intersects this bottom line over here. That's where I'm going to draw my vertical line up. And that's where I'm going to go back to the right vanishing point until I hit the wall of my house. So on this side, this is all going to be shaded dark. And then I'll erase any lines that overhang, and I'll erase all of my lines 